Welcome to the Beginner's Guide Part 2. In this guide, you are going to keep on learning many interesting things, but more importantly, I'm going to prepare you to talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime in English. Hi friends, Teacher Bricks here, back with more videos, and I hope you enjoy these new lessons I'm going to post every week for you. Now on YouTube, there's this new feature where I get to interact with you guys. I can make posts and, and write things here on YouTube. And a few days ago, I posted a question asking you whether you wanted the subtitles directly on the video or if you wanted the option to activate the video or not, okay? The second option, one, so if you need to activate the subtitles, click here, okay? Do you see this button? That's where you need to click to activate the subtitles. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to talk about abilities in English with the verb can. Can is a verb. Now, in the previous guide, I showed you what a verb is, okay? A verb is an action. It's, it's a word that indicates something you do, like sleeping, uh, running, speaking, okay? Now, the verb can is different. Can is a modal verb. What is a modal verb? A modal verb is a little bit different from the other verbs because it's a verb that doesn't change, okay? It's very independent, so you don't need do, does to ask questions with can. No, okay? There are no changes to the verb can. For example, she likes to dance. I don't add this letter S to the verb can, never. So that's why we call it modal verbs, because they are very different. They are very independent verbs. We use can to indicate ability, to indicate you have the skill or the power or the means to do something. We can also use can to make requests and to talk about possibilities. But today, in this video, I will focus only on how to talk about abilities with the verb can. If you want to learn more about possibilities and requests, I will leave a link to my blog where you can find an entire post talking about these different uses of the verb can. Another important thing about a modal verb, and in this video about the modal verb can, is that after the verb can, you will probably need a verb. Okay, this verb will be used in the base form. What is the base form? It's the verb alone, no to, no conjugation, nothing. So, for example, I can, I have an ability, I can dance. Dance is a verb. And here I am using the base form, no to, nothing. All right, so I can dance. So, every time you use the ability, the verb, the modal verb can, the next verb is in the base form. No to, nothing. More examples. I can play the piano. Really? Well, I'm learning. But I can play a little bit. I can make cookies. Yes, my cookies are very good. I love making cookies. Now, another thing you need to know about the verb can is that the negative form of the verb can is can plus not, can't, okay? So, unlike the other verbs, this is another special thing about modal verbs is that they don't use don't, didn't, doesn't, no, can, can't. Okay, now let me tell you a few things I can do. I can swim, okay? It's very difficult for me, I can't swim. Can you swim? So now you know how to make affirmative sentences. I can make cookies. You know how to make negative sentences. I can't swim, okay? Can plus not, okay? You can say cannot or you can say can't. All right, we will talk more about the pronunciation in a little bit. To ask questions, 
All you need to do is invert the position between can and your subject. I can dance. Can I dance? All right. Can you dance? Can you make cookies? So I invert. First I say can, then I use a pronoun, I use something after that. Now, let's talk about the pronunciation of the verb can in affirmative and in negative form. The pronunciation of can in the negative form can be a little bit um, can be a little bit challenging for non-native speakers, okay? Because Americans don't uh, pronounce the T at the end all the time. You can, it is possible, they do it, but they don't do it all the time. Sometimes they don't pronounce the T. Now you may be wondering, how do I know it's a negative form because they are not pronouncing the T? What's the difference? Let me show you. The affirmative form of can is a little bit long. The pronunciation of the verb can in an affirmative sentence is a little bit long. I can dance. Now, when you make a negative sentence without pronouncing the letter T, the can, the can't, the cannot, will end more abruptly, all right? So, you have an abrupt end. For example, I can dance, okay? I can dance, I can dance. So, the second sentence, which is negative, ends more abruptly at the end of the verb can. Maybe for you, it sounds the same. It takes time to get used to this difference. So, my recommendation is that you practice, all right? Uh, there's a channel that I really like, which is Rachel's English. I will leave a link to her channel where she talks even more about the pronunciation of can and can't, okay? So, I'll leave a link to it and uh, this may help you because she repeats more times and more slowly because she really wants to focus on the pronunciation. So, if you want to work more on this aspect, make sure to check that video. It's really good. Excellent! So, I have an exercise for you. Every lesson we have an exercise, okay? So, at the end of the lesson, there is homework. You are going to watch very short scenes of a TV show called Friends, okay? Like, it's five seconds. They're very short. Then, I want you to post in the comments what these people can do and what these people can't do, okay? So, I'm going to post uh, uh, their names to help you because maybe you don't know this TV series. Uh, and then, you have to tell me, according to the video that you watch, what they can or what they can't do. Game on! Monica, check these out. Those look like cookies! I know, yeah, and I made them all by myself. I, I mixed the ingredients, I put them in the oven, I took them out. Granted, I should have used the oven mitts, but still. <laughs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> wow, a star! <laughs> it wasn't just that she was fat, the woman smelled like garbage. Everyone! It wasn't just that she was fat, the woman smelled like garbage. <laughs> Je m'appelle Claude. Je te coupe plow. <laughs> let's, just, let's try it again. Okay. Je m'appelle Claude. Je te plie blue. <laughs> huh. It's not quite what I'm saying. If you liked this lesson, if you found it useful, help spread the message by sharing this video with your friends on your social media. And if you enjoyed it, make sure to check my blog as well. I have a post there that talks even more about the verb, the modal verb can. Thank you so much, friends, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Well, you know, there I can't really do many things. <laughs> I never really learned much. <laughs> I learned English. Hey, I can't speak English. But what else? I can't cook, okay? I really can't. I, I eat salad on a regular basis, but I can't make the cookies. That's true. My cookies are delicious. My friends loved it, but they're very healthy. So no sugar, no nothing, basically. Yeah, I'm very talented. I don't think so. I can sing. Yes, 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 I can sing. I sing very well. Well, I sing. Uh, well, so-so.
I'm, I gotta go because I can't really do many things. <laughs> Bye.